Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 7 of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Persia Rises, or as Iran, whatever I don't really care. But in the last part we were fighting this kind of annoying war. And by kind of annoying I mean fucking piss annoying. It just doesn't seem to want to go my way. And then again, I have accepted that it's basically life, so I, I mean I'm really not like... I'm not completely set on this battle going my way, but if Iraq, if uh, Turkey was to fall, we could completely focus on the British and uh, pretty much actually beat them. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to beat them if we were given the ability to beat completely uh, kick over Turkey. Now, our supplies are not brilliant. We're not exactly in the best situation yet. Our efficiency is currently maxed on the two things we're building. We're currently teching better efficiency and, uh, what's it called, um, build it, well, just fat output in general, which is good. Anyone who's not supporting there should be fucking supporting there, especially my really good units. Because th that is the best way to push. Now we have somewhat manpower, which is dropping really fucking quickly because of these wars. Yeah, we hit, a, we've hit like a brick wall, and we're um, having a lot of manpower losses now. Then again, I haven't actually got any of these guys like to increase my men at all. So is that really like did, what did I? What would I expect? I don't really care if I've got resistance to occupations there, game. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is winning the north. If we win in the north, we'll, we can do a lot. Concentrate industry. I'm actually just going to push straight for the next one, even though it's a bit longer because of the fact that we just it's, it's just that important to us to continue producing a, a, a lot of, as much as many guns as we can and as many uh, pieces of artillery, just to get them out there. Please don't abandon that push, we need that push. You could push up there as well, I would let you. Give you a bit of tungsten, that's fine. Let's get that bit of tungsten. Pushing there is important. Any push we make is just is important right now. Because once France capitulates, like I said, we can actually annex Turkey. And that's just a whole lot of yes right there. Push even further. How quickly will we get there? Two days. So they're probably going to beat us there. Not that expected as their line. Keep trying to push there. No, stop and help there. Now, looks like my men are resound to losing in the north. Western educated elites. Oh, democratic bullshit. Right. Looks like they're taking back Alexandria, which isn't really a important thing right now. Support that. Have you support there instead of going there? We don't want you to move. We want you just to support. Throw every single man you can in there. Man. All of them. You stop. Help. Can't push there. We're having more success up here. Advanced machine tools. Fuck it, same again, just continue production. We need them. You guys there. Hmm, this is a situation where we're defending and attacking them. Hopefully, we'll uh, push through. Support there, please. Come on. We can 
break there. So much good comes of it. We obviously get uh, just the, the push itself is what we need. It would be nice if the uh, Soviet Union were actually helping properly instead of just being these dumb fuck AIs as they are. I mean, it's nice having dumb fuck AI because they're much easier to beat, but. Alright, we're winning the defense and we're winning the offense. Come on, I need the fucking... My factories are getting taken by the British, which is lovely. The game is great with me. 69% push to stop pushing when you there's no you know there's no chance. Game. Do as I tell you to, you dumb fucks. No, the red line doesn't come all the way down here. And then really our line should be to there. There we go. Yeah, we don't. Unless we're spanning the entire line, we really shouldn't be worrying. Thought well, something important had popped up, but no, nothing important yet, ladies and gentlemen. Um, why the fuck are you guys not supporting that? So we definitely win if you support it. You guys just break there and put the line so that would be much better than doing nothing. Or just walking somewhere. Yeah, Turkey has a lot of troops. That's the one thing I was uh, not looking forward to. Turkish fight, like fighting Turkey. I knew it would be an uphill battle, but did not expect them to join France. That was that was more of the weird thing right there. Oh fuck me, my men just moved out of there. And we lost there. Don't have these men, men attacking. Oh, God. One attack. One support. And you guys support. No. Support attack. You get there. And you support attack. Because you're coming here as well. We'll support attack with you. Right, we've pushed a bit up here. Holy fuck, there's five guys not helping there? What the fuck? There's all those guys not even helping. We could break that if we could if we push enough men there. Half those, put them there. Defend the top as best we can. We cannot lose any ground. Losing ground makes this life hard makes this fight harder. This fight is already a ball eight. We don't need any more of a ball eight. Two, three, out there. Anyone I can, anyone who can help fight there. Right. We could hopefully get there. We got here. Hopefully we can get here. Did good. We're pushing slowly, which is good. Um, I'm pretty sure we're losing land over here, but I am not being forced to capitulation that quickly, so it's fine. We're pushing the Turkish back as slow as we're getting pushed by, basically. We'll probably capitulate before they do, which is. I don't even think I'm joking there, I think that's actually true. Success. And there seems to be there's, they're expecting a cave invasion, but I doubt it's going to happen. Too fast. Whoa! What the 
fuck? Two of my men decided to retreat up there, which is, I suppose, fine. I don't see why you should have done it. Not sweet, you can sign there? Bitchin'. They have one division. Break him. My best general's in part of this. And we're still not pushing, pushing up hard enough. After we beat Ara uh, Tur Turkey, we're going to have to have a long sit down of uh, no war. Or no active engagement, because at the fucking moment we do not have any supplies for this. And that's an important thing we need to take. That needs to fucking fall and stop being such a twat. There's one division there. I'm sorry, but there's no way he's holding that against all my divisions. Especially as his general sucks a cock in comparison. They're about to get reinforcements. If they get reinforcements for I... I knew that would happen. This... This fucking push was like hoping of these guys to be ready. But of course they were not, so. Right, we're pushing back to one. River crossing, combat with terrain, low supplies. So basically, I'm getting fucked on my attack rolls. Which, I uh, don't fucking expect, to be honest. Factories built. Every factory is built being used on, so Italy you have fun with Greece there, my friend. I'm not the, Greek, uh, the Greeks. Czechoslovakia is out. It's official. Oh my fucking god, just fall! They're gonna get that just down the fucking straight. <laughs> okay. Operation push this right, oh, oh, oh. Operation take this place is active. And we do they have four divisions. I suppose that's fair. No, I'd still say I'd win that one, but whatever. Stop all the active engagement pushes, hopefully. Like, we don't need them. We don't like one of them. There's no pushes I want at the moment, apart from there. But if we stop active engagements, we'll be able to supply ourselves quickly. We're not recruiting anyone, so we shouldn't take too much longer to get ourselves. You. Out, out, out. Right. All active engagements, apart from the fact they're attacking me. Modernized telecommunications, what does that do? Radar stations. Let's gain some cores, because we need those manpower we need the manpower there. Let's defend there, but that should be the only conflict we're in at the moment, like fight wise. That's not us, so it doesn't matter. What are they at, capitulation-wise? Oh shit, they push back down here. And then they abandoned the fucking front. This is the problem with the AI, they just don't understand. They just keep abandoning front willy-nilly. Which honestly makes no sense. Okay, there's no engagements going on. Why are we not supplying? There we go. Oh, that's a sub plus. I'm guessing they're at, what's it, send volunteers? Sure, it's, ex it's expeditionary forces I don't want. Alright, let's try and give myself some equipment now. 
we'll, we'll accept this stalemate and um, we'll uh, see if we can, the fact that due to the stalemate, see if we can uh, make a renewed push with equipment. I expect to just trounce over them when I have new, renewed my renewed supplies. Like, I put, I, that is generally, I generally just expect to walk over them, so. But we'll see. Well, I don't think the radar stations were built anywhere useful. Like there. Hashtag radio stations first. Yeah, they'll be done before we actually make them a new push, because I want to get out to 5,000 there. And about hopefully 2,500 there. Like I want to half these numbers just to make sure we've got them, like. Or I suppose there. Are, no, there's no. I wish it would like. Maybe like half of this black disappeared. So basically the same, just half the resources we need in our army. Actually, just looking at our army would be a better idea. So I want at least 47,000 of you, and I want at least 5,000 artillery. I want majority. Portugal sent division. Portugal, are you becoming fascist or some shit? You are. Well, yeah, you will just be an enemy if that happens because of the fact that I'm not in a fascist party. I will be leaving the communists after the war. It was a meaning to an end. That's pretty much the only reason I joined. And the fact that the Soviets are abandoning this front is really upsetting me because I'm going to fucking capitulate because of it. Maybe if they don't fucking sort that out, I will capitulate. Producing 200 guns a day, that's brilliant. Currently 8,000. So guns, I'll probably be able to get all of them before we can make a new push. I think I'll make my new push once we rebuild her. Because that's two civ factories and two built military factories and farm infrastructure, so... And that's just a great many good things. After that, we'll be rebuilding Baghdad. And we get cores and everything. Then I suppose we need to go Soviet Corporation. The build speeds. Oh, we go over here and get some. Actually, that would be that. Yes, that actually. I think after we built, rebuilt Iraq, we're going for that because I did not notice how good that was. There we go. The Soviets have fear fucking realized. Like, oh shit, our borders are threatened again. Let's get back over there. Also, the one big, another big thing is the French need to capitulate too, and the Germans need to beat the French while after we beat the uh, these guys, the Turkish. So yeah, there are many factors in this plan working. Mechanized offensive, airline battle shotgun, of course. We need to start equipping, must get some more weapons at him, uh, new upgrades soon, because I think we're probably going to be out upgraded soon. I must admit, I definitely started this war too early. But then again, hindsight is a cunt, so what would you expect? Pretty much supplied all our guns. Support equipment. We're at 20... <laughs> Shit, we do not produce anywhere near enough. At the moment, I'm trying to focus on radar stations, so... But the two factories we just get, we'll be getting a minute, we'll be put, uh, put straight towards that. I wish we were trying to. I could go to total mobilization. Don't tell me about those supply over there, it's not my fucking stuff. I'm gonna toss it as low supply over there. Wait, my infantry has got better. There's nothing for anything else. Army logistics, division attrition. I like that, but at the same time, I think I'm going to go for army offensive here. Just to make my armies better at what I'm trying to do. I think we'll get our gun, mil uh, our rifles, or infantry equipment completely out of the uh, red, and then we'll attack again. I think that makes sense. Oh, you're producing so little because you're on so low efficiency. Right, that makes sense. Um, military 
super useful stuff. And where's the, there is another one in there that gives me even more. It's not the immortal core. Is it? No, it's not you. It's not Savak. Although that is really fucking cool. There is one of these that gives us even more. Um, that's nice. Uh, military shit. Was the sour shant? No. 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 The game is still running in the background, so it's fine. As far as I'm concerned, it's fine. Military youth was there. It's not military youth. It's not there. I, I know for a fact there's another 5% men somewhere on there. I just don't know exactly where. Next, we'll be doing the... Uh, this... But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to end this part here. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next part. See you guys then.